think that's the type of night AC Riley had planned, I can tell you that much. Good solid tag wrestling here by the two-man boy band. Cutting off the rim, just working over AC Riley. Jiggy Jack Spade getting back in the ring after having a very confusing, weird interaction with the referee. See if that affects the match later on. Oh, you gotta watch out. Vic Ross on the outside, always known for using a shortcut or two. And there is one right there, just jacking the jaw. Oh, there is a t-shirt now. Where the hell did he get that t-shirt from? Referee's got to turn around. He's taking too much time job jacking with the protege. Oh! What a thunderous scoop slam. This ain't good. Oh! Elevation there by Jack Spade. Dropping a huge elbow. Two-man boy band picking apart AC Riley now. Wow, two count there. Riley able to kick out. You know, this is smart sounds take strategy here by the two-man boy band. You actually go after the strongest of the members of the Irish record group, and you cut that ring off. You work over AC Riley, a man who's not really known for his cardiovascular conditioning in the ring. You take him out, you got yourself the opportunity here tonight. Well, AC Riley trying to fight back and get into this matchup. Oh, you gotta watch out. You gotta call it there. Oh. Huge spine buster. This one you thought AC Riley was going to get some type of form momentum there. Comes crashing down on him. Yeah, that's what I understand. When he's finally getting back into the matchup, why not go make a tag? Go take a little breather. You know, he's got to be the hero. Oh, I right there. Ugh, that's gross. Oh, he just, oh, wow. What a huge shot there. I can knock a guy unconscious. And he looks out. I think he is out. Watch out here. Nice oh. snap suplex. Hold over. Barely any type of wow. on that kick out. It's not looking good Orbit. for their tag team champions. And Push out. He was pulling another t-shirt out of his pants. Who keeps t-shirts in their pants? Apparently a two-man boy band does. Yeah, two-man boy band looking very impressive here tonight. AC Riley though, far from the heart of the young man as he pushes Protege back in the corner and now he's just throwing into those heavy shoulders. AC Riley getting back into this matchup. He's got to make a tank. He should have made he's a right tank. He's right there. Oh. Oh. Well, that did not look good, whatever that was. Both men had a different idea. AC Riley able to rebound real quickly. Hooks up. Ew. Oh. Wow. Got him high and tight on like that. Brain buster. Wow. You know, well, you wonder why AC Riley is making a tag right now. He's on the dominant side of this matchup. Well, he's got to be a little concussed after that huge boot he took in that corner. Not really thinking for a full deck of cards here. Jack Spade continues the office, working over the head of AC Riley. Go ahead and see him. the close line. Both men, same idea, double close line in the middle of the ring. You know, maybe this knocks some sense in AC Riley. Maybe now he realizes he needs to make that tag. Well, AC Riley's got to make a tag here to Connor Riley. The Riley Cousins, they need to make a tag here. It's been nothing but the two man boy band for over 10 minutes here. Come on, get there, AC. Come on. Huge tag into Connor Riley. Protege, take a huge clothesline. Connor Riley, house of fire here. Big back elbow attack. Connor Riley definitely feeling it at this point in time. Oh. oh. An eye right. Huge right hand by the protege. Just for the Irish whip and the Irishman. Watch out. Boy, it's deep. Oh. splash by Dan Martin. Protege. Oh, big boots in the stomach. Oh, oh, wow. Just kicked the taste right out of his mouth. You have to wonder if that's if that was the Irish Wrecking Crew's last chance to get back into this matchup. Connor Riley was so fresh stepping into the ring, he looked so hot, and then all of a sudden, he falls like a ton of bricks. Just like that, momentum shifts in this tag contest. Jack Spade brings down the double axe handle. 
Definitely everyone here in Minnesota very well versed in that axe handle attack. Used greatly by Larry the Axe Henning. Tonight, though, used effectively by the two-man boy band. Just for another eye right now. Kinsman pillar to post. Where's AC Riley going after Vic the Oh, what's going on? Huge oh, wow. takeover. We got action all over the floor. AC Riley, oh, hits the steal. The ref needs to get out there. I mean, this is a disqualification right here, Jesse. Well, definitely, it should be a disqualification. Vic Ross, the general manager, getting very hands on active here. And AC Riley is he's barely moving on the outside of the ring. I'm not sure how much more effective he'll be for the rest of the matchup. Well, Connor Riley here, this is where he wants to make a tag, but AC Riley is out on the floor. And the protege just keeps on stopping him. Oh, that was a heavy chop. And another one. Tonight, oh. the two-man boy band with a solid game plan. They have divided and conquered the Irish Wrecking Crew. What a cocky cover there by the protege. Well, AC Riley able to get back into that corner post. You have to wonder, though, how effective is he going to be getting tagged into the ring? Well, he's having some difficulties getting the ring, but here comes A.C. Riley. Jax Bay just cuts him right off. Every chance they're trying to take to get back into this matchup is just being foiled. They have not seen the Irish record crew in this much trouble in a long time. Protégé. Oh! A oh. little bit of that Marley magic there. Where is Jiggy Jack Spade going? Jack Spade now. What? Oh, here what? Goes. Oh, my God. Is what he? Frog I think he's dead. And AC Riley and Connor Riley have the lost of this match titles. And the new Seven Rivers Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Two Man Boy Man. We just watched the tag titles change hands. I don't. You know, it's probably a good thing that the Ross family got lost on the road for an additional two hours because they had enough time to game plan exactly what they wanted to do here to the Irish Wrecking Crew. Oh my gosh. Well, the landscape here in Seven Rivers Wrestling has dramatically shifted. With Vic the Stick Ross as general manager, the two-man boy band holding all the, the tag team titles here in Seven Rivers Wrestling, the Ross family reigns supreme. You have to wonder how much more this company can get, more corrupt this company can get. I mean, things are just falling apart. You have Vic Ross, general manager. You have Alliance Pro coming in and trying to ruin your product. I don't, I just don't even know what to, what to say at this point. You know, folks, it's chaos reigns supreme here in Seven Rivers Wrestling. And we still have a main event. It's a four-way dance. It's going to be Jason Masters, Jason B, Cole Brown, and Lumberjack battling it out for the opportunity of a lifetime to step in the ring with Superstar Steve Starter and five for the heavyweight title here in Seven Rivers Wrestling. It's a great opportunity, but it could be a death wish for any guy that's going to be able to pull a victory here tonight. Well, we're going to keep our cameras rolling as the celebration party for the two-man boy band continues here tonight. And you know what I think was forgotten to be mentioned, Jesse, is that Lumberjack, if he loses this match, it will be his last in 7RW. One decision made by Vic the Stick Ross. Well, definitely he was able to fold that one into Dallas Parker. We're bringing you the news right now. Lumberjack, if he loses, he's done here. So I'm just I'm trying to figure out how this company can get any better with Vic the Stick Ross as our general manager. I mean, he's making... I'm speechless, Jesse. I really am. You know, my heart goes out to the Irish record crew. I mean, they've been some great tag team champions here. Feel bad for the Riley Cousins. Oh, it's a tender moment of family bonding there. Wait a minute! Whoa! Whoa. Connor Riley turning a 180, just turning his back on his cousin. Again! You'd think at some point in time you see Riley would actually get it through his head. Wow. And for once, Conor Riley has nothing to say. Nothing to say at all. I think actions speak louder than words. I think the Irish record crew are done here in Seven Rivers Wrestling. We've had to have a lot of guys carted off here tonight. Definitely a bunch of broken down, beaten bodies in the middle of the ring. You know, the terrible thing is, in a matter of a week, we're going to be in steamboat days here with Nona. How many of these guys are going to be able to actively compete? I couldn't tell you that, Jesse. I mean, it seems like after every single match, we have to have at least one guy carried out here. 
Well, folks, as we try to get some order reestablished here in Seven Rivers Wrestling, we're going to take another commercial break. Our main event is up next. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, I'm Nick Ragnar. I'm backstage here with, with Jason V. And Jason, you're in a fatal four-way tonight. Number one contendership for the 7RW heavyweight belt. You face stardom back in December. I'm, what are your thoughts on the match? Well, first of all, my thoughts are what kind of conditioner do you use? Is this Garnier for you, please? Because uh, this looks fantastic. Please. Oh, the match. The match. Hi, guys. Uh, seven RW fans, last time I was here, I was in this ring, I was against heavyweight champion Steve Stardom. And got to admit, I did pretty good. He dropped me on my head, and he won because he he's quite the champion. But tonight, tonight I'm back, and I get to avenge that loss, potentially. I, I, all I got to do is win this four-way match. I win this four-way match, and it's... It, going to happen. I get my title shot and I can go ahead and be the champion at Seven Rivers Wrestling. How awesome is that? Awesome. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Because you see guys, you, to my other three opponents, I know you're going to see this because it goes ahead plays before the match. You guys watch it on the monitor in the back. I know this. So I've done this. So um, what's going to happen is what you see right here. I, I'm the cream. I'm the cream. Did you know I'm the cream? Now I know you're the cream. I, I, I'm the cream. And the cream always rises to the top. You see this, this melting pot, this melting pot that we have at Seven Rivers Wrestling. This, this is like a big cup of black coffee. And this match, this, this match, well, that's the sugar. Because if I win, it's going to be sweet. But this right here, the cream will rise to the top. Get my match against Steve Stardom. Get the title. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's gonna happen. Well, thanks, Jason V. Uh, good luck in your match tonight, and thanks for the compliment. Of course. Yeah, anytime. Anytime.